everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to create banners just like this one on YouTube. And having a nice channel banner is a game changer. I've tested this multiple different times on different channels using different banners, and it does really help you get more subscribers if your banner is very clear about what your channel does, it's very crisp, it's very professionally created. So I wanted to show you how to create one from scratch. Now I'm gonna use a website to get a template that I'm gonna use to build on. And it's just a few bucks, and this will be a really easy way to get started. I have a complete tutorial on how to create a banner from scratch on Photoshop, and that's a little bit more involved, but this option just requires you to download the theme, the template, and get started with it that way. You could also get a free trial of Photoshop to get you going, but having a solid channel banner is one of the best things you could do to grow your channel, so I recommend watch this video till the end till you get your banners to look just like mine, and hopefully it can get you more subscribers. I know we can because every time I've tested it, a new better banner has improved my subscription to view ratio every single time. Let's jump in the computer and set up our first banner here. So you could either create a channel art from scratch like the few that you see here, or you could start with a template. This video is all about starting with this template. I'm gonna show you where to get, link in the description. And once you get the template, you could get a free trial of Photoshop to go ahead and customize it. You only need to do this one time, so the free trial should work fine. When making a new channel from scratch, I have a new channel right here. The very first thing you wanna do is a channel art. So this is what we're gonna focus on. And then I'll show you how to add it here. I'm gonna to go to this website and look for YouTube channel arts. I'll put a link in the description for it. And literally this first one is what I'm gonna get. It's only four bucks. It gives you multiple different options here. So I recommend you spend a few bucks to get this. And then I'll show you how to customize it for free here too. But this is a Photoshop template that you could easily customize. And I'll have a link in Photoshop for a free trial. So you don't have to worry about actually paying for Photoshop to get this. So once you do download it, this is basically what it looks like. You have a blue one, a red one, and a yellow one here. And that's just one of the banners. So there's a couple other options. So all this was four bucks. So it's basically less than a dollar a piece. So take a look at all these different options. I'm just gonna customize actually just this blue one here. Next, you want to get a copy of Photoshop if you don't have it. I obviously have Photoshop, so all I would have to do is go ahead and open this with Photoshop here, and it's now open with Photoshop. I could easily customize it. If you don't have it, I have a link in the description to the Adobe website here where you could check out Photoshop and get a free trial for it. So just go ahead and do a seven day, I believe it's a seven day free trial here and it lets you edit that document that we just downloaded off that website. So once you do that and you install Photoshop, let's go ahead and edit the one that we have opened in Photoshop. Again, find a banner that you wanna edit and go ahead and open it with Photoshop. Once it's here, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, these are all the different layers where you could customize every individual piece. So for example, the background layer, I'm just turning it off and on with this eyeball. There's the different text layers. This is the stuff in the background and it has a drop down, so we could see what else is there. There's a grunge overview. So you could just check out these eye eyeballs here and turn things on and off to see how you like it. Then we want to alter some of the text here. So the channel name, and remember on YouTube, it's only gonna show you the middle section here. So it's only gonna show you this section. This bigger design is for when people see it on TV. So let's look at channel name here. So this channel is called App of the Day. That's the name of the channel. I'm gonna press check mark. The subscribe is great, but next to it, there is a text. I could just go ahead and delete that if I don't wanna see that or you could just press the eyeball, it will just make it not show up here. Next, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Do we wanna show those things? If you don't, you could just simply turn all those off here. And then under the stuff, there's a drop down. It shows you all the different icons. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I could just press the dashes off here right there so there's nothing here. I could maybe put another element if I want or you could just do that with the icons it has. Next, you wanna put your website if you have a website. Again, any of these, if you don't have it, you could just simply delete it so it doesn't show up here but hafanity.com is obviously the website I have here for the how-to videos on social media and tech. Next, put your picture here. So then it's asking to for you to take a picture here. So in order to bring a picture here, let me show you how to do that. You're gonna go and find a picture that you want to add here. So I just got a picture of the app store here. This is all about making different videos about different apps. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this with Photoshop. 
So in the Mac here, I'm just controlling clicking and you could just right click on a PC, open with Photoshop and you could just go ahead and drag this over and put it right on top of this file and drop it. I'm gonna press OK here and as you could see, it's over here now. So all I have to do is click this layer. You see I'm turning it on and off here on the layer panel. I'm gonna press V and now I could actually move it where I want to. So I could just move it over here. And if I wanted to resize it, I could press Command T and I could go ahead and resize it down and then move it behind this one. I'm gonna press Enter when I'm done. And the Your Picture icon, I could just go ahead and turn that off over here. And as you could see, this Apple, this Apple logo icon is underneath everything else. So if I wanted to change the order of a layer, you see this layer, I could just drag it and I'm gonna just bring it all the way up on top. I want this to be the very top thing over here. As you could see now, it's the very first thing on top of what's in the background. So you could obviously add a lot more content here. You could check out some of the layers, turn things on and off. These are a couple of the different banners that I've just created using this template. So these were included in the template that I already got. So for my channel app of the day, this is what it ended up being. I just added a couple more text fields and images. And for what to watch channel that I just created, where I create videos about what to watch on different video platforms, I created this one using the same template. Super easy, took me less than 20 minutes to do the whole process. So I hope this process could get you started. I always make new banner videos for YouTube and I've made a few in the past. So those are a little bit more from scratch if you wanna check those out as well. But hopefully this does get you started. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post YouTube related videos every single week so you could improve your channel on YouTube and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.